voluntary effort or voluntary action in the in the process of rural development that we are going to discuss today that forms the subject matter of uh, block 3 of mrt 103 so when we talk of uh, voluntary effort in case of india voluntary effort has a special significance of its own voluntary effort voluntary spirit the spirit of helping others that is a part and parcel of indian culture we believe in vasudhaiva kutumbakam our cultural uh, to help others to see to uh, to see our brethren in uh, out of distress to see them happier that is our goal we want to see them happier and this is at the root of indian society and culture yes is there any problem So voluntary effort in India has always been an integral part of social and cultural tradition. And voluntary organization of the role Kathame Koche, voluntary organization have their roots in the people. As old tradition, voluntary effort to help others, voluntary organization by voluntary uh, action, that a basic philosophy. Hoche, we want to help others. We have the spirit of helping others. We want to see others happy. We want to see them out of distress. So that has been there from the very beginning of Indian civilization. So that is a very much a part of our cultural value, value system. So it is there in different forms in different periods of time. And gradually we see that these things are getting translated in the form of organizations. They take the form of voluntary organization, which come to supplement the activities of government in the field of rural development or in the field of overall development of the nations. So it is nothing new. So what then is voluntary action? A voluntary action or effort is an effort from one's own volition. That you the Kyaroche, that it is, it comes out of one's own. Nobody compels us to do so. It comes out of our own feeling, own interest to help others. So that is at the root of voluntary action or voluntary effort. And when it takes the shape of a formal organization, the membership is also purely voluntary. In case of voluntary organization, the membership is purely voluntary also. We don't compel anybody. They have a spirit to help others. They have a spirit to help the society. So they come forward because a voluntary organization is a platform through which they can help. They can uh, get their uh, dream fulfilled. So, this is your voluntary effort or voluntary organization. So, voluntary effort aims at helping people to help themselves by mobilizing their own resources, tapping their potential, collectively finding solutions to the problems and implementing them to realize their goals. So, main thing is helping people to help themselves. So what are the different characteristics of voluntary effort? The first most important characteristic of voluntary effort is people's participation. People should participate at all levels of uh, voluntary effort. We have a participation means at different stages of planning and implementation. Suppose in the context of rural development, when we are uh, talking of government taking different uh, programs, different schemes for eradication of poverty in rural areas, for a promotion of education, uh, for 
promoting health standard among the rural people or any developmental uh, goals for, for the realization of any developmental goals when government is taking any developmental scheme in a particular rural area or rural areas in general there are scopes for these voluntary organizations also an organization can work if there is a working space for them so they can complement the efforts of the government so when uh, so effort of voluntary organization and effort of government they are in the nature of complementarity they complement to each other uh, so government uh, gives uh, some, some uh, it makes certain policies to be implemented in the rural areas uh, some schemes some projects may be implemented by different voluntary organizations and voluntary organization uh, the main uh, what distinguishes a voluntary organization is that it has a grassroots level it has its identity at the grassroots level it is uh, more familiar with the grassroots level and voluntary organizations are generally small organizations working in a particular area concentrated in a particular some uh, one or two particular areas so it has more familiarity with that area it uh, is acquainted with uh, the local economic and social status of the people so it can uh, in a better way help the government for effective implementation of different government schemes and policies so first one is the public parties people's participation that is most of the important characteristics of voluntary effort uh, so in case of uh, uh, people's participation not only the one sense the one stage and because we know I'm a planning the project cycle the future different stages are there so planning program formulation uh, implementation decision making sharing of benefits monitoring and evaluation with a scheme about the project but the program these are the different stages at different stages there should be uh, involvement of the people the people for whom we are thinking of development there should be a part and parcel at each and every stage so that voluntary effort can be truly called a people's uh, the, uh, we can say that this voluntary effort has people's participation sometimes a distinction is made between uh, people's participation and voluntary effort suppose uh, we five to ten people uh, we became interested uh, to help the society so we come forward uh, to suppose we take a particular scheme uh, we want to uh, promote education among uh, a very underdeveloped area uh, underdeveloped area where your education level is very low and our spirit is good we want to help them we want to spread education in that particular area but that is voluntary effort but that may not ensure people's participation because uh, when we are trying to promote education in that area, the intended beneficiaries, whether we are taking them into, uh, we are involving them in participation, uh, in decision making, we are making them a part of implementation procedure. That is uh, another thing. If we don't involve them, there is no popular participation there is voluntary effort no doubt but there is no people's participation popular participation is not there so a voluntary effort will be more meaningful more successful when there is popular participation where there is the involvement of the people and in our last class uh, uh, we are we were discussing that is this the development is of the people by the people and for the people and when we are thinking of development, we cannot just impose anything in the name of development on the people. We should see to it that what kind of development that people, the people in that area need. What kind? What is? The, what? What are their aspirations? What are their requirements? So, what do they want? So, what kind of education? In different ways, we can also promote education. Different types of uh, suppose go to school example number different kinds of schools may be open 
इंग्लिश मीडियम स्कूल्स में भी देयर भर्नाकुलर मीडियम स्कूल्स में भी देयर सो इन द नेम ऑफ एजुकेशन आल्सो वी कैन नॉट इम्पोज एनीथिंग जस्ट ऑन दैम वी हैव टू टेक दैम इन टू अकाउंट वी हैव टू मेक दैम ए पार्ट ऑफ द डिसीजन मेकिंग वी हैव टू मेक दैम ए पार्ट ऑफ द चॉइस मेकिंग सो दैट वी कैन एनश्योर पॉपुलर पार्टिसिपेशन इन द प्रोसेस ऑफ डेवलपमेंट सो वॉलेंटरी इफोर्ट एंड popular participation people's participation when they go together that serves the purpose better and another feature of voluntary effort is it is called the third sector third sector means uh, in generally whenever we are talking of economics uh, we in in the context of economics we say different sectors are your household sector private business government foreign sector so these are different sectors that we talk of but in case of the voluntary effort and rural development context uh, the agency the different organizations through which uh, economic transformation takes place in a society we can have different types of sectors or organizations uh, at the top level we have the government sector then apart from government allocation uh, decision also is made by market mechanism or private business through market mechanism also allocation is made or uh, economic transformation also takes place so government is the first sector market or private business is the second sector and apart from these two we have this voluntary organizations so to distinguish it from the earlier two from government and market voluntary organizations are referred to as third sector and sometimes they are called independent sector that emphasizes uh, its inter independence of voluntary uh, organizations uh, from government and private sector or private business sector so that's why it is also sometimes called the independent sector and whenever some people out of volition they want to help the society they come together they form an organization can in the indian constitution we have the right to assemble we can uh, assemble together for a lawful purpose of course our association should not be uh, against the law of the country when we are doing something legally and our action is not against the unity and integrity of the nation rather it is helpful to the society then we can form together we can come together we can form an organization uh, to help the society but in order to have a legal status that association must be registered under appropriate uh, under the uh, under appropriate appropriate act and we have different acts uh one is your society's uh, registration act 1860 then you have trust act 1800 1882 uh, most of the organizations they are generally registered it i mean what i want to emphasize is that when we form an organization to give it a legal status i mean legally to be identified as a as an organization कहीं एमती तो मन इच्छा गोटे अर्गानाइज कर आम गोटे पांच जन आसे मिसिकी कम कले सो इट कैन नट हाव ए परमानेंट स्टाटस इट कैन नट हाव इट्स ओन आईडेटी इन द आईज अफ लीगली टू हाव एन आईडेटी इट सुड भी प्रपरली रेजिस्टर्ड आम जो सीटनसीप कौन कहे एवरी चाइल्ड बार्थ हो तार बार्थ रेजिट्रेसन हो सो वास् दि नेम अफ ए चाइल्ड इज रेजिस्टर्ड With the appropriate body, तो हमारा municipal ठीक हो के ग्राम पंचायत जो टाइम हमारे registered है लापर एक कौन हो जी that child बा that man is considered to be the legal citizen of our country. Similarly, लेकिन उटे society बा उटे organisation तार उटे legal entity पे तार उटे individual identity पे that must be registered under appropriate act. तो ना most of the societies बा most of the organisations in India they are registered by these two acts जो टाइम हम कहिले सोसाइटीज रजिस्ट्रेशन एक्ट 1860 और ट्रस्ट एक्ट 1882 एंड दे आर आल्सो गाइडेड बाय दे आर सब्जेक्ट टू इनकम टैक्स एक्ट 
you know, sometimes uh, when you are having a registered society, there are different ways, different sources from which you can get income. So from uh, how much of income you are getting, for what purpose you are utilizing it, you, you should also be answerable to the society. So how can we be answerable to the society? We, when we are answerable to government, uh, appropriate body of the government, then through that we are answerable to the society. So for that purpose, we are also guided by Income Tax Act, different provisions of India Income Tax Act, which are uh, for these type of societies or these type of organizations. So whenever we do that, we have to be, we want to get registered under that body. We have to apply uh, as per the provisions of that, different act or different provisions are the provisions we have fulfill Suppose we have the Indian Trust Act. The Trust Act we have to purpose. We have to for what purpose? Who can be a trustee? Legally, who can hold property? That kind of person can be a trustee. These two acts are, the PDF version of these two acts are available in Google. Uh, in a net, we can search it in Google and download. Uh, we can go through it also to know, just to know the different provisions of this act. You know, uh, we have the, so what is important is that when you are organizing, you are getting, uh, forming an organization, you should have clearly spelled out your objective. What, what is your purpose? And what kind of activity you are going to undertake to realize your purpose? So you must uh, fulfill the different criteria which are prescribed to become a legal entity uh, under the provisions of these acts. Then, uh, then only we can get registered. So this is the provision for voluntary organizations. Then another important feature of voluntary organization is that they are not for profit or no profit organizations. And in case of market, what happens in case of government, the primary, every organization has its own purpose of operation, its own purpose of existence. We say that government is there to promote maximum social advantage to the society. It is the uh, promotion of welfare is the main objective of the government. Similarly, in market, in different, uh, in case of a private business entity, the main purpose of its existence, the main purpose of its operation is maximization of profit. So whatever profit is obtained that goes to the owner of that particular institution concerned or that particular farm concerned or that particular business concerned. The owners, uh, sometimes we have uh, a group of owners instead of one single uh, ownership company, we have a group of owners, joint stock companies. In case of joint stock companies, what happens? The property gets distributed among them. But so main purpose is to maximize profit. But what in that res in what respect voluntary organizations are different from them? Voluntary organizations are different from uh, private entities, private business entities on the point that these voluntary organizations are non-profit organizations. That doesn't mean that they will go on incurring losses. Non-profit organization is a loss. So they can generate some income. They can generate some profit. But that profit, but that surplus income, a profit what appropriate profit, profit what appropriate voluntary organization is a non-profit organization. So we should not use the word profit there. So whatever it gets after meeting all its costs, if there is something left with that body, we can call it a better word will be the surplus. If there is some surplus, that will not go to the owners of that organization, but the members who have formed the organization. So for that purpose, if that goes to the uh, owners or the members of that organization, so in what way that organization will be different from the private business? They will be same. So private business, in case of private business uh, is for profit and voluntary organization is a non-profit or no profit organization. And government purpose, government maximization of welfare, 
गवर्नमेंट रब इंटरेस्ट हूँ माइक्रो लेवल इंटरेस्ट इट ट्राइज टू प्रमोट बा मैक्सीमज वेलफेयर for maximum number of people in the society or all people in the society can each and every one in the country is the subject of the government can government ro target ho chi to see that overall development is there each and every person gets the benefit you know voluntary organization is and as compared to the government is a small organization and that is concentrated in a particular area so it works in a small area so there are some uh, larger voluntary organizations who are working for the whole country for they have macro interest uh, but these type of organizations are very uh, less in number uh, whatever you say they are very less but uh, they are different from the private business so no profit uh, organization or non profit organization sometimes also we make a distinction between non government organization and voluntary organization at this point i suppose uh, we have uh, some friends among us who have some direct experience in the field of working in a voluntary organizations or non government organizations if they have some experience and they would like to share it with us we will rather be happy let us invite uh, if anyone has an experience you can come forward and supplement our discussion is there any difference between voluntary organizations and non government organizations or they are uh, the synonymous terms yesterday uh we had a friend as he joined today anybody else who have uh, who has an experience in the field of uh, this uh, working in non government organizations or voluntary organizations जेसन देर आर different schools of thought in this uh, context also some people consider non government organization and voluntary organizations to be synonymous they are one and the same but there are certain differences uh, to others there are certain differences between a voluntary organization and a non government organization ek non government kai ko hauchi na it is free from uh, government it is independent of government in its own operation it is independent of government then every voluntary organization by government uh, organization has its own definite objectives it has its own rules and regulations can am at the society's registration act by trust act ra am at the registered ho je sethi amar different provisions ja amko apply kare al gote jo proforma tha se proforma ba amko jo full conditions jo fulfill kare ar achi ta bhitare amko details amar jo modus operandi amar jo operations amar objective amar jo different membership ra qualification kon how one can be a member when a member can be disqualified Uh, and uh, what are the rules and regulations what are the bylaws egodak everything we have to mention bujhi hoje then egodak am ko mention kariya sei drushtiru it is free from jo for day to day activities it is free from government control so long as it doesn't violate the law of the land and law of the land ko violate no kariya porjonto ba amaro Uh, we uh, so long as it is not doing something which against, goes against the law of the land hala se par amar unity and integrity of the nations ko compromise korune jo ta amar country ra law achi se law ko violate korune jo porjonto ame se kam korune we are uh, doing something out of philanthropic spirit 
we are doing out uh, doing something for the benefit of the society uh, so long as we are independent of uh, government control uh, so far as our day to day operation is concerned and jetala sigura ko kariba ame to illegally ame law ta ko violate kole na law ta ko violate kole law violator saman ko pai jo punishment am pai bi sei punishment eno law ta ko samman dei kiri law anusare kam kori kiri ame jodi amara nijer rule regulations dwara ame follow ho je government is or doesn't also interfere seti pai as it is free from government control it is called non government organization it is not a government organization but voluntary organization or non government organization bhitre a basic difference jo ta me kouche all voluntary organizations are non government organizations karon voluntary organization ta it is free from government it is third sector it is not uh, private business it is not government then every voluntary organization is a non government organization kintu every non government organization is not a voluntary organization kemiti na na there are certain non government uh, organizations are there which are sponsored by government itself jemi de amra ithu example dei ji kapat ro kotha dau ji capr ti jo kapat council for advancement of people's action and rural technology kapat jo ta ki which was a pioneer organization and it was set up in september 1986 it is the nodal agency uh, for rural development then we do kapat kotha goje that is sponsored by government it is a non-government organization but it is not a voluntary organization you know we can uh, make the difference by with the statement that all voluntary organizations are non-government organizations but not all non-government organizations are voluntary organizations tapare jo am features ko tha kuthle ame third sector ame dekhile first important feature of non voluntary organization is people's participation second dekhile it is uh, in the third sector then uh, it is a formal organization a voluntary organization is a formal organization voluntary organization formal kai ki na once it is registered by the appropriate act by appropriate body it should have a definite program it has aims and objectives clearly spelled out it, it has its rules and regulations of governance se sansta ta kemti chalibo the rules of governance regulations of governance so everything is clearly mentioned there so it's a formal organization so not informal one then it's private Private money institutionally separate from government. I mean, private ka goje, which is separate from government. So that is private. So voluntary organization is institutionally uh, separate from government. Then it is self-governing. Self-governing money not controlled by the government or any other outside entity. It is governed by itself. Then it is not for profit organization. A voluntary organization is not for profit organization in case of a private business or market what happens the institutions the organizations the primary purpose of these organizations are making profit and a voluntary organization is distinct or different from market institutions but uh, volunt different from your private business in the sense that it is a non profit or no profit organization the next is non religious nature of the voluntary organizations uh, we have different places of worship different institutions of worship like temples churches mosques but they are not voluntary organizations we go there voluntarily membership is voluntary but they cannot be voluntary organizations so because they are religious entities and non religious voluntary organizations are non religious organizations non religious entities so apart from that next characteristic of a voluntary organization is non political character of the organization it is Hello. not sir yes yes 
सर वॉल्यूम टर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन मेंबरशिप आर द सर फाइव मेंबर्स से रू ऑर्गेनाइजेशन में स्टार्ट हो चुके हैं नहीं मैं बुझी पड़ लेने ठीक रे सर देखो ना गोटे ऑर्गेनाइजेशन स्टार्ट करो वाले वॉल्यूम टर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन स्टार्ट हो गए हैं सर तार मेंबरशिप कितने रू स्टार्ट हो गए सर फाइव मेंबरशिप में तो कहते जो ना फॉर व्हाट पर्पस यू आर एसेंबली है ना आमे को उद्देश्य नहीं कि फॉर व्हाट पर्पस सपोज वी वांट टू हेल्प द सोसाइटी तो मो आई एम डूइंग समथिंग सपोज मो गोटे मोर छुट्टी दिन रे मो चाहू छी कि मोर जो लीजर टाइम आई विल यूटिलाइज फॉर द बेनिफिट ऑफ द सोसाइटी बाय टीचिंग द चिल्ड्रन ऑफ अंडर प्रिविलेज्ड सोसाइटी मो चारि पोट मान अंडर प्रिविलेज्ड अछंती जो मानकर तो सपोज एक्स्ट्रा कोचिंग फैसिलिटी पाउ नथि जो पिला मन मो से मानक पाए गोटे किछि करिया को चाहू छी सपोज मु मोर लाइक माइंडेड फ्रेंड्स मान को मो डिस्कशन कले 4 5 10 फ्रेंड्स मोर आमे वी कंबाइन टुगेदर आमे मिसिलु संग हे करे आमे से काम ट को हाथ को नेलो तनो वई आमे जतले संडे बा हॉलिडे जतले पाउचे सो बाय दैट वे दैट इज द बिगिनिंग तापर आमे धीरे धीरे चिंता करू जे लेट अस ग्रेट इट रेजिंग तनो आमे गुटे अप्लाई करू अप्लाई करी कि आमे गुटे फॉर्मल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ना आमे तार जो एप्रोप्रिएट एक्ट सो छि प्रोविजन सो छि सोसाइटी रो सही प्रोविजन अनुसार आमे अप्लाई करिवो अप्लाई कला पर किंतु एठी मेंबरशिप रो कोन सपोज आम गुटे गवर्नमेंट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सेठी कोन हो छि ना आमे गुटे गुटे एम्प्लॉयर एम्प्लॉई रिलेशनशिप रोइ पारे बा गुटे प्राइवेट बिजनेस रे कोन हो छि ना इक्वली माइंडेड बिजनेस पीपल हु इन्वेस्ट मनी दे मे कम टुगेदर ताकर गुटे पर्पस रो छि एवरीथिंग किंतु एठी जो ताकर हो छि मेकिंग प्रॉफिट केमिति आमे गुटे बिजनेस पर्पस आमे बिजनेस एक्टिविटीज हात को नो जे आमे मार्केट रो हाउ कैन वी मेक प्रॉफिट सो दिस थिंग्स आर किंतु हियर आवर मेन पर्पस इज टू हेल्प द सोसाइटी फॉर द डेवलपमेंट ऑफ द सोसाइटी तनो आमर मेन पर्पस इट समथिंग डिफरेंट तनो मेंबरशिप टा कते होबो दैट सिमिति किछ रेस्ट्रिक्शन तो नहीं सेम कर सर थैंक सर तना हम को देखियो रोची व्हाट इज आवर पर्पस आ जदि हमें एटा को इट इज ए थर्ड टाइप हम को जो इट इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम गवर्नमेंट इट इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम ए जो हमरा प्राइवेट बिजनेस अ नॉन गवर्नमेंट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन को उडा एउडा जेहेतु गवर्नमेंट इट इज इंडिपेंडेंट ऑफ गवर्नमेंट इंस्टीट्यूशनली इट इज डिफरेंट फ्रॉम गवर्नमेंट वी कॉल इट नॉन गवर्नमेंट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन किंतु ऑल नॉन गवर्नमेंट ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस आर नॉट वॉलंटरी ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस कहीं को छ ना जते वेले वन ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इज स्पोंसर्ड बाय गवर्नमेंट जिमि कापाट कथा कहले इट इज स्पोंसर्ड बाय गवर्नमेंट तण तार जो मेंबरशिप टा दैट इज नॉट वॉलंटरी कारण कापाट रा हमर आ परे अछि मु आ दुई चार मिनिट बा पांच मिनिट परे हम कापाट को आसीबा डिटेल डिस्कशन करबा तार धर चेयरमैन के प्रेसिडेंट से गुटे एक्स ऑफिसियो वन मिनिस्टर विल बी द चेयरमैन ऑफ दैट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन so in the capacity of being a minister he has assumed the uh, post of chairman of kapat then so it a voluntary kotha koti asila buji lagi then voluntary organization no missing feature jo ta that is uh, purely a voluntary membership then i would am so call it a non religious konasi religious purpose ka am india ta am ko am our our country is a secular country na सो इन ए सेकुलर कंट्री तनो रिलीजियस कांग्रेगेशन तक हमें वॉलंटरी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ना आख्या दे परिउ ने किंतु जदि से थ्रो दैट हमें आ गुटे कोन करचे ना डिफरेंट रिलीजियस ऑर्गेनाइजेशंस टू हेल्प द सोसाइटी टू फॉर प्रमोशन ऑफ एजुकेशन से माने डिफरेंट सोसाइटी रे तो चैरिटेबल ट्रस्ट आकार रे से माने रजिस्ट्री करिकिरी से माने थरो जो डिफरेंट जो मिशनरी स्कूल्स होउ छे होउ छे से गुटे को हम वॉलंटरी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन कहि परिउ कारण सेठी तांकर पर्पस न है प्रोपगेशन ऑफ रिलीजियस through a school uh, no organization propagates religion kan takar sethi promotion of education propagation of education for that purpose they are working bujela tan gota suppose gota church and a school managed by church that uh, church ro gota jo charitable trust kan church to direct ame to go gota charitable trust of the church to manage kurji tan second one is a voluntary organization but the church itself is not voluntary organization 
କାରଣ ତାର ରହୁଛି ରିଲିଜିଅସ୍ ଗୋଟେ ଚର୍ଚ୍ଚର ମେନ୍ ପର୍ପସ୍ ହଉଛି ପ୍ରପାଗେସନ ଅଫ ରିଲିଜନ ପ୍ରମୋସନ ଅଫ ରିଲିଜନ ରିଲିଜିଅସ ସ୍ପିରିଟ ରିଲିଜନ କିନ୍ତୁ ଏଠି ହେଉଛି କଣ ପ୍ରପାଗେସନ ଅଫ ଏଜୁକେଶନ ପ୍ରମୋସନ ଅଫ ଏଜୁକେଶନ ପ୍ରୋଭିଜନ ଅଫ ଏଜୁକେଶନ ନନ ପଲିଟିକାଲ ଆମେ ଯଦି ସପୋଜ ତାହେଲେ ତ ସେଟା ଯଦି ମେମ୍ବରସିପ ଯଦି ଇଣ୍ଟରେଷ୍ଟେଡ ହେବେ ପଲିଟିକାଲ ଇସ୍ୟୁରେ ଦେ ୱିଲ ପାର୍ଟିସିପେଟ ଇନ ପଲିଟିକାଲ ଇଲେକ୍ସନ୍ସ ତାହେଲେ ଦ୍ୟାଟ ୱିଲ ବି ପଲିଟିକାଲ ପାର୍ଟି କାରଣ ହ୍ୱାଟ ଇଜ ଦ ଡିଫରେନ୍ସ ବିଟୁଇନ ଏ ପଲିଟିକାଲ ପାର୍ଟି ଏଣ୍ଡ ଭଲଣ୍ଟରୀ ଅର୍ଗାନାଇଜେସନ କାରଣ ଭଲଣ୍ଟରୀ ଅର୍ଗାନାଇଜେସନ ହେଉଛି ଇଟ ଇଜ ଫର ଦ ବେଟରମେଣ୍ଟ ଅଫ ଦି ସୋସାଇଟି ଆମ ଭିତରେ ଗୋଟେ ଅଛି ଦ ସ୍ପିରିଟ ଟୁ ହେଲ୍ପ ଅଦର୍ସ ହେଲା ତେଣୁ ଭଲଣ୍ଟରୀ ଇଫର୍ଟ ଏଣ୍ଡ ପିପୁଲ୍ସ ପାର୍ଟିସିପେସନ ଦେ ଆର ଅଫନ ଇନଷ୍ଟିଚ୍ୟୁସନାଲାଇଜ ଥ୍ରୋ ସେଟିଂ ଅଫ ଭଲଣ୍ଟରୀ ଅର୍ଗାନାଇଜେସନ ତାହେଲେ ମୁଁ ଯେଉଁ କଥା କହୁଥିଲି ଆମ ଭିତରେ ଯେଉଁ ଭଲଣ୍ଟରୀ ଇଫର୍ଟ ଆଉ ପିପୁଲ୍ ପାର୍ଟିସିପେସନ କଥା ରହୁଛି ତାର ଗୋଟେ ଫର୍ମାଲ ସେପ୍ଟା କେମିତି ହେବ ଇନଷ୍ଟିଚ୍ୟୁସନ କେମିତି ହେବ ନା ଦ୍ୟାଟ ୱିଲ ବି ଇନଷ୍ଟିଚ୍ୟୁସନାଲାଇଜ ବାଏ ଫର୍ମେସନ ଅଫ ଏ ଭଲଣ୍ଟରୀ ଅର୍ଗାନାଇଜେସନ ଆମେ ଯେତେବେଳେ ତାକୁ ଗୋଟେ ମଧ୍ୟ ଏମିତି ଆମେ ଟିକେ ଆଗରୁ କହୁଥିଲି ସପୋଜ ମୁଁ ମୋର ଲିଜର ଟାଇମରେ ଗୋଟେ ଦେଖୁଛି ମୋ ଚାରିପାଖରେ ଗୋଟେ ବସ୍ତି ଅଛି ସେ ବସ୍ତିର ପିଲାମାନେ ଶିକ୍ଷାର ସୁବିଧା ଠିକରେ ପାଉନାହାନ୍ତି ଯେଉଁ ଆଡିସନାଲ କୋଚିଂ ବା ଏକ୍ସଟ୍ରା କୋଚିଂ ଦରକାର ସେମାନେ ପାଉନାହାନ୍ତି ଆଉ ତେଣୁ ମୁଁ ଫିଲ୍ କଲି ଯେ ଆଇ ସୁଡ୍ ଡୁ ସମଥିଙ୍ଗ ଫର ଦେମ୍ ତେଣୁ ମୋର ଲିଜର ଟାଇମରେ ମୁଁ ଆସିଲେ ମୋର ଇକ୍ୱାଲି ମାଇଣ୍ଡେଡ ଫ୍ରେଣ୍ଡ ମାନଙ୍କ ସହିତ କଥାବାର୍ତ୍ତା କଲେ ଆମେ ପାଞ୍ଚ ଜଣ ସାଙ୍ଗ କଥା ହେଲୁ କଥା ହେଇକିରି ଆମେ ଯାଇକିରି ଆମର ଛୁଟି ଦିନରେ ସେଇ ବସ୍ତିର କି ପାଖ ଆଖର କିଛି ବସ୍ତି ପିଲାଙ୍କୁ ଆମେ ଫ୍ରି କୋଚିଂ ଆମେ ପ୍ରୋଭାଇଡ କଲୁ ତେଣୁ କିଛି ଦିନ ପରେ ଏମିତି କରୁ କରୁ ଆମେ ଦେଖିଲୁ ଯେ ରେଦର ଲେଟର ବି ଏ ଫର୍ମାଲ ଗ୍ରୁପ ଆମେ ଗୋଟେ ଫର୍ମାଲ ଗ୍ରୁପରେ କନଭର୍ଟ କରିଦବା ସୋ ଦ୍ୟାଟ ଇଟ ୱିଲ ହାଭ ଇଟ୍ ସି କଣ୍ଟିନ୍ୟୁଡ ଏକ୍ସିଷ୍ଟେନ୍ସ ଆଉ ତାପରେ ଗୋଟେ ଯେତେବେଳେ ରହିବ ଗୋଟେ ଇଟ ୱିଲ ଟେକ୍ ଏ ଫର୍ମାଲ ସେପ୍ ଇନ ଦି ଫର୍ମ ଅଫ ଏନ ଅର୍ଗାନାଇଜେସନ ଆଜି ଆମେ ପାଞ୍ଚ ଜଣ ମିଶିକି କାମ କରୁଛେ କାଲି ଆମ ଭିତରେ ଡିଫରେନ୍ସେସ୍ ଆସିଲା କି କିଏ ଜଣେ ଚାହିଁଲେନି ପଳେଇଗଲେ ମେ ବି ଏଇ ଯେଉଁ ଆକ୍ଟିଭିଟିଟା ଷ୍ଟପ୍ ହେଇଯିବ କିନ୍ତୁ ଆର ଗୋଟେ ପରମାନେଣ୍ଟ ନେଚର ଆକୁ ଦେବା ପାଇଁ ଯେଉଁ ଆମର ଯେଉଁ ଅର୍ଗାନାଇଜେସନଟାକୁ ଗିଭ ଏ ପରମାନେଣ୍ଟ ସେପ୍ ଗୋଟେ ଫର୍ମାଲ ସେପ୍ ସପୋଜ ୱି ଥଟ୍ ଆଣ୍ଡ ୱି ଫର୍ମ ଏନ୍ ଅର୍ଗାନାଇଜେସନ ତେଣୁ ଆଉ ଯେଉଁ ଭଲଣ୍ଟରୀ ଅର୍ଗାନାଇଜେସନ ପାଇଁ ଆମର ଯେଉଁ ଯେଉଁ ପ୍ରୋଭିଜନ୍ସ ଅଛି ଆମକୁ ଗୋଟେ ସୋସାଇଟି ଆମେ ଗୋଟେ ଅର୍ଗାନାଇଜେସନ ଆମେ କଲେ ତେଣୁ ସେ ଅର୍ଗାନାଇଜେସନକୁ ଆମେ ଗୋଟେ ଲିଗାଲ ଏଣ୍ଟିଟି ବା ଲିଗାଲ ଷ୍ଟାଟସ ଦେବା ପାଇଁ ତାର ଇଣ୍ଡିପେଣ୍ଡେଣ୍ଟ ଆଇଡେଣ୍ଟିଟି ଦେବା ପାଇଁ ଆମେ ସେଠି କ'ଣ କରିବା ସପୋଜ ଆମ ଯେଉଁ ଇଣ୍ଡିଆନ ସୋସାଇଟିଜ ଆକ୍ଟ ଅଛି ରେଜିଷ୍ଟ୍ରେସନ ଆକ୍ଟ ସୋସାଇଟିଜ ରେଜିଷ୍ଟ୍ରେସନ ଆକ୍ଟ ଅଛି କି ଆମର ଯେଉଁଟା ଧର ଇଣ୍ଡିଆନ ଟ୍ରଷ୍ଟ ଆକ୍ଟ ଅଛି ସେ ଟ୍ରଷ୍ଟ ଆକ୍ଟର ପ୍ରୋଭିଜନ ବା ସୋସାଇଟି ଆକ୍ଟ ଅନୁସାରେ ଗୋଟେ ସୋସାଇଟି ହେଲେ କ'ଣ କ'ଣ କଣ୍ଡିସନ ଫୁଲଫିଲ କରିବାକୁ ପଡ଼ିବ ଆମେ ସେଗୁଡ଼ାକ ଦେଖିବା ସେଇ ସେଇ କଣ୍ଡିସନ ଯଦି ଫୁଲଫିଲ କରୁଛେ ସେଇ ଲିଗାଲ ପ୍ରୋଭିଜନ ଅନୁସାରେ ସେଇ ଲର ସେଇ ଯେଉଁ ପ୍ରୋଭିଜନ ଅନୁସାରେ ଆକ୍ଟର ପ୍ରୋଭିଜନ ଅନୁସାରେ ଆମକୁ ଆପ୍ରୋପ୍ରିଏଟ ବଡିରେ ଆପ୍ଲାଏ କରିବା ଆପ୍ଲାଏ କଲା ପରେ ଆମେ ଯେତେବେଳେ ଗୋଟେ ରେଜିଷ୍ଟର୍ଡ ହେଇଯିବ ଆମକୁ ଗୋଟେ ସ୍ପେଶିଆଲ ରେଜିଷ୍ଟ୍ରେସନ ମିଳିବ ନା ତେଣୁ ଗୋଟେ ସୋସାଇଟିର ଗୋଟେ ଇଣ୍ଡି ଗୋଟେ ୟୁନିକ୍ ରେଜିଷ୍ଟ୍ରେସନ ନମ୍ବର ଥାଏ ହେଲା ଯେମିତି ଆମର ସିଟିଜେନ ମାନଙ୍କର ବର୍ତ୍ତମାନ ଗୋଟେ ୟୁନିକ୍ ଆଧାର ଆଧାର ଆଇଡେଣ୍ଟିଫିକେସନ ନମ୍ବର ରହୁଛି ସେମିତି ଏଭ୍ରି ସୋସାଇଟିର ଗୋଟେ ୟୁନିକ୍ ରେଜିଷ୍ଟ୍ରେସନ ନମ୍ବର ରହିଲା ତେଣୁ ଗୋଟେ ରେଜିଷ୍ଟ୍ରେସନ ନମ୍ବର ପାଇଗଲା ପରେ ଇଟ୍ ବିକମ୍ସ ଏ ଲିଗାଲ ଏଣ୍ଟିଟି ତେଣୁ ତାପରେ ସେ କ'ଣ କରିବ ତାର ଡିଫରେଣ୍ଟ ସୋର୍ସରୁ ଆପ୍ଲାଏ କରିପାରିବ ଫାଇନାନ୍ସିଆଲ ଆସିଷ୍ଟାନ୍ସ ପାଇଁ ତେଣୁ ତା ସେ ଫର
तांकर फॉर्मेशन बी नॉट फॉर प्रॉफिट मेकिंग आउ ऑपरेशन बी नॉट फॉर प्रॉफिट मेकिंग कारण प्रॉफिट मेकिंग यदि पसी गला सेटी सो दैट विल बी अ प्राइवेट बिजनेस आउ सेटी सेटा रहिबनी वॉलंटरी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन हे किरे रहिबनी हला तापर वॉलंटरी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन आउ टू डिस्टिंग डिस्टिंग्विशिंग फीचर जोटा दैट इज इट इज गवर्न बाय द ओन सेट ऑफ रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन तार निजर सेट ऑफ रूल्स एंड रेगुलेशन द्वारा दैट विल बी गवर्न एंड मोस्ट ऑफ द वॉलंटरी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन सेटी दे इज दे आर रजिस्टर्ड अंडर सोसाइटीज रजिस्ट्रेशन एक्ट 1860 और सिमिलर एक्ट्स ऑफ स्टेट गवर्नमेंट्स गिवन दैट हमरा सेंट्रल लेवल एबड़ा बहुत पुराना एक्ट उड़ा का 1860 1882 एबड़ा ब्रिटिश पीरियड रो एक्ट बुझेला सेतेला सेते अछि हम जो चैरिटेबल पर्पस पई उड़े देखुतले सर्च कुछ कोथले हम नेट रे मिलु छि जो चैरिटी हमरो जो इंडियन चैरिट जो ट्रस्ट एक्ट सेतेरे कोउ छि आर जो हमरो स्टैच्यूट ऑफ एलिजाबेथ ब्रिटिश क्वीन तांकर सही अनुसार फोर टाइप्स ऑफ एक्टिविटीज ताको से कोउ जों जे हमरो चैरिटेबल एक्ट कोडा का चैरिटेबल एक्ट ना तो रिलीफ फ्रॉम पॉवर्टी लोक मान को टू गिव रिलीफ फ्रॉम पॉवर्टी सो दैट इज ए चैरिटेबल एक्ट बा तमे प्रोविजन ऑफ एजुकेशन दैट इज ए चैरिटेबल एक्ट और एडवांसमेंट ऑफ रिलीजन ताको से माने को दिन चैरिटेबल एक्ट किंतु नाउ एट इज आमे जो रिलीजियस ऑर्गेनाइजेशन को वॉलंटरी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन ने नो ने किंतु एटा ब्रिटिश पीरियड रो एक्ट एट एन तादेर एई जो चारटा एक्ट आउ कोले एनी अदर पर्पस बेनिफिशियल टू द कम्युनिटी तीनटा भितर क्लासिफाई करी हेउनी सपोज तमरो रिलीफ ऑफ पॉवर्टी एजुकेशन आउ एडवांसमेंट ऑफ रिलीजन एई तीनटा को छाडी कि एनी अदर कैटेगरी ऑफ एक्टिविटी व्हिच इज फॉर द बेनिफिस ऑफ द फॉर द व्हिच इज बेनिफिशियल टू द कम्युनिटी that is also treated as a charitable act then ei sob act pai if you are interested then you can have a formal organization and get it registered by uh, indian trust act hala same thing our society is registration act achi then ei act uda kare kon hai hala you will get tame jo tar jo provision ta ko fulfill kari ki jodi ame registered hoi jauche amar gote nijor identity roila we are identified एज ए डिस्टिंक्ट ऑर्गेनाइजेशन तणो एई टाइप रो पैरेलल ऑर्गेनाइजेशन पई जो सुविधा सुजोग अछि बा जो अदर तमो सो फंडिंग एजेंसीज अछंती सपोज सो इंटरनेशनल फंडिंग एजेंसीज अछंती सपोज मोटे एग्जांपल देबे तमको तरह बिल गेट्स फाउंडेशन से माने चाहू छथि जो अंडर डेवलप्ड कंट्री उडा कर डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्राम हाथ को नेबे से माने तो डायरेक्ट आसी के ठी काम करि पर नथि तणो एई टाइप रो कोडा को लीगल बॉडीज अछंती एई टाइप रो गुटे लीगली फॉर्मड बॉडीज को उडा को छथि सेइ मान को थ्रो रे होय त से माने काम करिया को चाहि परिबे तण से माने जतले एइ मान को थ्रो रे काम करिया को चाहिबे आने से माने जतले एठी काम करिया को चाहिबे जनरली से माने को इंडिविजुअली मते बाछिबे ना को बाछिबे ना को बाछि को जानथिबे किंतु एई टाइप रो गुटे जो पर्पस रे गुटे लीगल ए कंस्टिट्यूटेड बॉडी हेथिबो जदि गुटे ऑर्गेनाइजेशन जदि हेथिबो सो डेफिनेटली से माने ताको बेसी ट्रस्ट करिवे ना दे विल ट्राई टू work with them they may not be interested to work with individuals they will be more interested to work with these type of registered bodies and it is a voluntary organization and ngo kotha kohutile ame se ko je voluntary organizations are initiated by individuals or groups of individuals for welfare and development तो इनिशिएटेड बाय जो कथा हम कोथली जे इनिशिएटेड आमे जेमिति जो प्रमोशन ऑफ एजुकेशन न कथा हम कोथले इनिशिएटेड बाय इंडिविजुअल्स और ग्रुप्स ऑफ इंडिविजुअल्स फॉर वेलफेयर एंड डेवलपमेंट व्हेयर एज एनजीओज कोन हो जे दे आर इनिशिएटेड स्पोंसर्ड एंड कंस्टिट्यूटेड इन इंडिया जनरली बाय गवर्नमेंट एज ऑटोनॉमस बॉडीज एंड दिस इज द डिफरेंस दिस इज हाउ वी डिस्टिंग्विश an ngo from a voluntary organization you know for what purpose now for pursuing some specific development objectives but a specific development objective fulfill kariya pai government may sponsor one organization 
so when government sponsors an organization for that purpose it is non government organization voluntary organizations receive funds am kothile na am dhara gote society ro welfare pai ame kaam korche amar kichhi funds bi dorkar so what are the different sources from which we will get fund you know voluntary organizations receive funds from donor agencies donor different donor agencies achanti within country outside country there are different donor agencies jeme suppose mo bill gates foundation kotha koile suppose a bill gates foundation got a particular kaam kariya ko chahunchi in suppose in india and other uh, developing countries suppose got a african country ra suppose got a kaam kariya ko chahunchi ki india ra got a kaam kariya ko chahunchi se dekhu ji ei kaam ta ko ko organization ko voluntary organization se country re karchanti तेणु से डायरेक्टली इनवल्व नाइनसीआल एड दे पारे जे देखुचे ये भलेंटरी अर्गानाइजेसन से एरिया रे काम करुचे कि सफिसीय फिनान्सीआल रिसोर्सेस ना से तार जो एरिया अफ अपरेसन गोटे लिमिटेड टू ए स्मल पकेट तेणु ताक गोटे लार्जर एरिया पहुंचापी मे भी इंटरेस्टेड हो फनसीआल आसीस्टेन्स भी दे पारे तेना भलेंटरी अर्गानाइजेसन रिसीव फंडस फ्रम डोनर एजेन्सीज दैट मे इनक्लूड अल्सो एन जी ओज तेना ये डोनर एजेन्सी भितर नन गवर्नमेंट अर्गानाइजेसन भी गोटे डोनर एजेन्सी हो पाए तेना नन गवर्नमेंट अर्गानाइजेसन टा गोटे लार्जर अर्गानाइजेसन को बुझे कारण दे आर मेनली स्पोनसर्ड बै गवर्नमेंट तेना ये गवर्नमेंट स्पोनसर्ड अर्गानाइजेसन टा से भी फंडिंग करोलेंटरी अर्गानाइजेसन स्पेसीफिकेक्टिव they have their own rules and regulations they have their own strategies they have their own policies whereas policies programs and strategies of ngos are influenced by government directive can they are sponsored by government when an organization is sponsored by government tar jo strategy tar jo policy it will be definitely directed by government that will be influenced by government direction hello voluntary organizations have usually motivated leadership and committed and ngos depend on professionally a uh, professional paired functionaries and a hierarchical structure to carry out programs and activities but a ngo ta jehetu tar large scale of operation achi tar gote hierarchical uh, structure thai uh, and through that hierarchical structure uh, they have some full time professionals a uh, paired uh, employees uh, through them the organization runs yeah. voluntary organizations can be both non political as well as politically or ideologically oriented hi pare kintu ngo as ngos are usually non political in nature or guided by professional not political compulsions ela yuda ko sab rohi chi dekhiba ta par gota voluntary organization pai kichi code of conduct achi ला सब टू इंपोर्टेंट कोड ऑफ कंडक्ट जोटा ऑल ऑफिस ब्यूरोस स्टाफ एंड वॉलंटियर्स ऑफ द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन शुड मेंटेन हाई स्टैंडर्ड्स ऑफ इंटीग्रिटी एंड एंश्योर दैट फंड्स आर नॉट यूटिलाइज्ड फॉर देयर बेनिफिट एंड एट इज जोटा इंपोर्टेंट हमर व्हाट इज द मेन पर्पस ऑफ फॉर्मेशन ऑफ वॉलंटियर ऑर्गेनाइजेशन इट इज टू सर्व अदर्स इट इज टू सर्व द सोसाइटी it is not for making personal profit then our purpose is to not making personal profit our main purpose is serving the society then ame jo members mane rahibe voluntary organization ne se mane sachot hoba darkar sadhu hoba darkar jo to ame kouche they should maintain high standards of integrity and save fund for the benefit of the society not for their personal benefit तेणु एनसीओर कौन करेंगे ना फंड्स आर नॉट यूटिलाइज्ड फॉर देयर ओन बेनिफिट और फॉर द बेनिफिट ऑफ द रिलेटिव्स और फ्रेंड्स नो एक्टिविटी ऑफ द ऑर्गेनाइजेशन शुड बी यूज्ड टू प्रमोट द बिजनेस और पॉलिटिकल इंटरेस्ट ऑफ इट्स ऑफिस ब्यूरोस जो माने ऑफिस ब्यूरोस ऑफ द वॉलंटरी ऑर्गेनाइजेशन 
they should not utilize the organization for promotion of their political interest or any other personal interest you know it is independent of its promoters or developers jo mane voluntary organization form karichanti the stakeholders the office bearers but organization na kon hue na jemiti gote business ro kon thai ki it is independent of its it has its own identity independent of its owners gote private jo amaro companies act onusare eta jemiti societies act onusare registered hoji then different jo companies those who are doing business they are registered under companies act when a company is registered it has its own independent existence apart from its owners you know a company applies for its own pan card hala tano tar owner ro gote pan card alga thibo tar company ro it has its own pan card and tar distinguishing feature ho che that particular organization is has its own independent existence it is independent independent of its own uh, its owners its promoters similarly gote voluntary organization be it once it is registered it has its own legal existence legal independent existence you know the office bearers they should not use the voluntary organization for promotion of their own personal interest or their own political interest so that is uh, uh, prescribed uh, that is suggested as a code of conduct for voluntary organization there should be complete accountability next important thing is complete accountability suppose i am a different donor agency ro we are getting money we are getting money from different donor agencies and we are utilizing that money for the development of the society for undertaking different projects for a rural development suppose so we should be accountable from from what source we are getting income how how much of funds we have received from different donor agencies and other organizations and how do we use those funds everything should be clearly reported so that we can ensure accountability and accountability is also one important thing as the accountability proper accountability we are not maintaining proper we are not having proper accountability there are chances that funds will be misused misutilized for a particular purpose we have received funds and we are diverting it for personal purposes so if that thing happens instead of helping the society instead of ensuring development of the society it will go against the society and society of fund the misutilization of funds is a crime also and for development of the people we are getting funds and without utilizing the funds for that purpose suppose we are using it uh, for our own purpose so we are committing a crime that should not be there you know voluntary organization should be guided by ethics and it should have its own code of conduct our behavior should be such we should be guided by those code of conduct by way of example here it is mentioned about kapat it is mentioned uh, i was talking that it was uh, uh, set up in 1986 uh, september 19 uh, 1986 uh, it is uh, uh, a non government organization previously we had two organizations pad uh, that is your people section for development and we had council for advancement of rural technology cat by combining pad and cart uh, one single ngo is formed that is kapat so kapat from man, what is the main objective of kapat now it is uh, to encourage to promote to assist voluntary action in the implementation of projects for enhancement of rural prosperity for enhancement of rural prosperity kapat works with focus on injecting new technological inputs rural development through technology so that is the main thrust of kapa to act as the national nodal point for coordination of all efforts at generation and dissemination of technologies relevant to rural development 
so these are uh, there are certain other objectives uh, these are mentioned in page 11 so after this class uh, please go through this material we have a detailed explanation of these things uh, so far as your organization is concerned minister for rural development government of india is the president of the council and also the chairman of the executive committee the general body comprise not more than 100 members uh, who represent different voluntary organ agencies uh, central and state government institutions uh, and other institutions engaged in activities connected with rural development technology and individuals possessing expertise experience relevant to furtherance of the aforesaid objectives so like objectives should i come you that purpur jo objectives should i mention hai che she objectives fulfill by those who are experienced those who have experience man ho yaar emphasis ho je transformation of rural areas with a technology it encourages to use a latest technology for development So what are the activities? Different activities with the I'm a coach of the organization of beneficiaries, one of the major activities of Kappa. The organization of beneficiaries who are going to be benefited by these programs. So government programs are being implemented, who are going to be uh, going to get the benefit? They form your beneficiaries. And the organization of beneficiaries is one of the important. Uh, activities of kapat as a component of organization of beneficiaries it emphasizes on training on social animators what a concept of state is social animator who is a social animator a definition is given here social animators are people from among the target groups when a social animator is one among the target group who are the target group not the beneficiaries themselves can our target is those group of people we are trying to uh, develop them we are doing something for their development they are uh, supposed to get the benefit so one among them but some among them they are the social animators tangar kaam kon the target groups who belong to the village jo village ra ame kaam koruche jo area re kaam koruche so one among them but some among them selected group they are the social animators after acquiring training skills they act as a catalyst to inspire and help the people in realizing their potential this training is done by age training social animators when once they are trained they will act as agents they will train others and suppose uh, 100 people our beneficiaries achanti we may not train 100 people at a time we select some people among them suppose 5 to 10 people we select and we give them enough training once they are trained they will give training to other people age of 5 to 10 people am select kale tanko upar am exclusively we put our emphasis on them we train them they are the social animators and with the help of them, we can promote rural development in a better way. Okay. Then organization of awareness camps. So different government programs are there. Sometimes what happens, uh, people, uh, they just cooperate in the government programs. Uh, maybe they are not aware, they do not have adequate knowledge. So by way of example, suppose uh, it will mention how far it will be relevant. Uh, suppose the government vaccination program is going on nowadays. Every, in each and every country, government is serious to provide vaccination to each and everyone in the society so that all people will be vaccinated within a stipulated period of time. But there are some people we have in our society who don't cooperate. They have some pure psychosis. They do not go. There is the necessity to educate them. education, suppose some outside people, they may not take them into confidence. 
ତେଣୁ ଇଫ୍ ସମୱାନ ଏମଂ ଦେମ ଆର ଫ୍ରେଣ୍ଡ ଦେ କ୍ୟାନ ମେକ ଦେମ ଅଣ୍ଡରଷ୍ଟାଣ୍ଡ ଦ ଥିଙ୍ଗସ ଦେ କ୍ୟାନ ଏକ୍ସପ୍ଲେନ ଦ ଥିଙ୍ଗସ ଇନ ଏ ବେଟର ୱେ ତେଣୁ ୱି ହ୍ୟାଭ ଟୁ ଡେଭଲପ ଦେମ ୱିଥ ଦେମ ୱିଥ ଦେୟର ହେଲ୍ପ ସୋ ୱି ହ୍ୟାଭ ଟୁ ଟେକ ଦେୟର ହେଲ୍ପ ସବୁ ପିପୁଲ ୱେନ ୱି ଟେକ ଏ କମ୍ପୋଜିସନ ଅଲ ପିପୁଲ ଆର ନଟ ଏ ଲାଇକ ସମ ଆର ୱେଲ ଇନଫର୍ମଡ ସମ ଆର ୱେଲ ଏଜୁକେଟେଡ ସୋ ୱି କ୍ୟାନ ଟେକ ଦେୟର ହେଲ୍ପ ସୋ ତାକୁ କଣ ଆମେ ଫାଷ୍ଟ ୱି ହ୍ୟାଭ ଟୁ ମେକ ଦେମ ଏବର ୱି ହ୍ୟାଭ ଟୁ ଟ୍ରେନ ଦେମ ସୋ ୱିଥ ଦେୟର ହେଲ୍ପ ୱି କ୍ୟାନ ଇମ୍ପ୍ଲିମେଣ୍ଟ ଦି ପ୍ରୋଜେକ୍ଟ ଇନ ଏ ବେଟର ୱେ ସୋ ଦ୍ୟାଟ ଇଜ ୱାନ ଅଫ ଦି ମେଜର ଆକ୍ଟିଭିଟିଜ ଅଫ ୟୋର କପଟ ଦେନ ସିଲେକ୍ସନ ଅଫ ରୁରାଲ ଅର୍ଗାନାଇଜେସନ ଡେଭଲପମେଣ୍ଟ ଅଫ ୱିମେନ ଆଣ୍ଡ ଚିଲଡ୍ରେନ ଇନ ରୁରାଲ ଏରିଆଜ ସୋ ଦିଜ ଆର ଦି ଡିଫରେଣ୍ଟ ଆକ୍ଟିଭିଟିଜ ଦେ ଆର ମେନସନ ଆଚ୍ଛା ଆଟ ଦିସ ପଏଣ୍ଟ ଆଇ ଉଡ ଲାଇକ ଟୁ ଆସ୍କ ୟୁ ଇଫ ୟୁ ହାଭ ଏନି ଡାଉଟ ଅର ୟୁ ୱାଣ୍ଟ ଟୁ ଆଡ ସମଥିଂ ଟୁ ଆୱାର ଡିସକସନ ୟୁର ସଜେସନ୍ସ ୟୁର କ୍ୱେରିଜ ଆର ୱେଲକମ ଏନି ୱାନ କ୍ୟାନ ଭଲ୍ୟୁଣ୍ଟରଲି କମ ୟୁ ଉଡ ଲାଇକ ଟୁ ଆଡ ସମଥିଂ ଟୁ ଦିସ you have some if anybody has some any experience in uh, working in different any non government organization or volunteer organization or uh, getting in getting involved in any development project i welcome your suggestions you can add or if you have any problem in uh, getting things what i am telling uh, what i am telling uh, you can also uh, put any queries so i suppose you have got what i told so after this class please go through this uh, material uh, very clearly everything is mentioned uh, so you may also expect a question on kapat in some previous years but uh, a question paper re dekhi dile kapat upar a question thila tar details tanu e jo kapat dekhibe se anusar prepare karibe dekhi kite ko then role of voluntary organizations tar ute historical perspective ta mention hoschi ta pare amar pre independence period ro in the post independence period in case of pre independence period the nature of voluntary effort was mainly individual based on individual philanthropy arising out of religious fervor or pity jemita amare dekhuche suppose uh, odisha re before independence ଆମକୁ ଫିଲାନ୍ଥ୍ରୋପିକ୍ ଆକ୍ଟିଭିଟିଜ୍ ହେଉନଥିଲା ନା ଯେଉଁ ସୋସାଇଟିର ଡେଭଲପମେଣ୍ଟ ପାଇଁ ଆମେ ଇଫର୍ଟସ୍ ନ ନେଉଥିଲେ ନେଉନଥିଲେ ଆମର ସେଗୁଡ଼ା କ'ଣ ହେଉଥିଲା ଇଣ୍ଡିଭିଜୁଆଲ ଲିଡରସିପ୍ ୱେ ଆର ଇନଫ୍ଲୁଏନ୍ସ ବାଇ ଇଣ୍ଡିଭିଜୁଆଲ ଲିଡରସ ଯେଉଁ ଆକ୍ଟିଭିଟିଜ୍ ୱେ ଆର ବିଙ୍ଗ ଅଣ୍ଡରଟେକେନ୍ ବାଏ ଇଣ୍ଡିଭିଜୁଆଲ ଲିଡରସିପ୍ ଧର ଚାରିସମାଟିକ୍ ଲିଡରସିପ୍ର କଥା ଆସୁଛି ସପୋଜ ଓଡ଼ିଶାର ଆମେ କହୁଛେ ଉତ୍କଳମଣି ଗୋପବନ୍ଧୁ ଦାସଙ୍କର କଥା ତାଙ୍କର ଆଦର୍ଶରେ ଅନୁପ୍ରାଣିତ ହେଇକିରି ବି ବହୁତ ଲୋକ ଆସୁଥିଲେ ସମାଜ ସେବା ପାଇଁ ଆଗେଇ ଆସୁଥିଲେ ତେଣୁ ଯେଉଁ ପ୍ରି ଇଣ୍ଡିପେଣ୍ଡେନ୍ସ ପିରିୟଡ଼ରେ ବା ତୁମର ମହାତ୍ମା ଗାନ୍ଧୀଙ୍କ ଡାକରାରେ ବି ବହୁତ ଲୋକ ଆସୁଥିଲେ ଦେଶ ସେବା କରିବା ପାଇଁ ତେଣୁ ମୋଷ୍ଟଲି ଏଇ ଯେଉଁ ଫିଲାନ୍ଥ୍ରୋପିକ୍ ଆକ୍ଟିଭିଟିଜ୍ ବା ଭଲ୍ୟୁଣ୍ଟାରୀ ଇଫର୍ଟସ୍ ଦେ ଆର୍ ଇନ୍ ଦି ନେଚର ଅଫ୍ ଇଣ୍ଡିଭିଜୁଆଲ ଇଫର୍ଟସ୍ ବା ତୁମର ଯଦି ଅର୍ଗାନାଇଜଡ୍ ଇଫର୍ଟସ୍ ଦେ ଆର୍ ମେନଲି ଇନଫ୍ଲୁଏନ୍ସଡ ବାଏ ଚାରିସମେଟିକ୍ ଲିଡରସିପ୍ ମହାତ୍ମା ଗାନ୍ଧୀ ଆମର କି ଆମର ଉତ୍କଳମଣି ଗୋପବନ୍ଧୁ ଦାସ ଏଇ ଟାଇପ୍ର ଯେଉଁ ଚାରିସମେଟିକ୍ ପର୍ସନାଲିଟିଙ୍କ ଦ୍ୱାରା ତାଙ୍କର ଆଇଡିଓଲୋଜି ଦ୍ୱାରା ୱି ୱେର ଇନଫ୍ଲୁଏନ୍ସଡ ସୋ ଦ୍ୟାଟ ଇଜ ଦେୟର ଇନ ପ୍ୟାଜ ନମ୍ବର ଟ୍ୱେଣ୍ଟି ସୋ ଅଲ ଦିସ ଥିଙ୍ଗସ ଆର ଦେୟର ୱି କ୍ୟାନ ହ୍ୟାଭ ଇଟ ଦେନ ପୋଷ୍ଟ ଇଣ୍ଡିପେଣ୍ଡେନ୍ସ ପିରିୟଡର କଥା ଆସୁଛି ଯେଉଁଠି ଆମେ ଧୀରେ ଧୀରେ ଯେଉଁ ଶ୍ରମଦାନ ମୋମେଣ୍ଟର କଥା ଆସୁଛି ଧୀରେ ଧୀରେ କେମିତି ଏଇଟାକ ଏଇଟା କ'ଣ କି ହିଷ୍ଟୋରିକାଲ ହାଉ ଗ୍ରାଜୁଆଲି ଏଇ ଯେଉଁ କନସେପ୍ଟ ଅଫ ଭଲ୍ୟୁଣ୍ଟାରୀ ଇଫର୍ଟ ଆଣ୍ଡ ଭଲ୍ୟୁଣ୍ଟାରୀ ଅର୍ଗାନାଇଜେସନ୍ ଏଇ ଯେଉଁ କନସେପ୍ଟଟା କେମିତି ହିଷ୍ଟୋରିକାଲି ଇଟ୍ ହାଜ ଇଭଲ୍ଭ ଓଭର ଇୟର୍ସ ହେଲା ଏଇ ଜିନିଷ ଗୁଡ଼ାକ ଡିଟେଲ୍ସ ଦେଇଛି ଏଥିରେ ଏମିତି ଆଉ ଦେନ୍ ୱି ହ୍ୟାଭ ମେନସନ ଆବାଉଟ ସ୍ୱର୍ଣ୍ଣ ଜୟନ୍ତୀ ଗ୍ରାମ ସ୍ୱରୋଜଗାର ଯୋଜନା ଆଇ ହୋପ ୟୁ ଆର କ୍ଲିଅର ଆବାଉଟ ଇଟ୍ କାରଣ ଆର୍ଲିଅର ଇନ ବ୍ଲକ ୱାନ ଜିରୋ ୱାନ ଆଣ୍ଡ ୱାନ ଜି
then important another important area of discussion is uh, the what are the factors that determine people's participation and voluntary effort or voluntary organization it is mainly based on people's participation the thing that from the very beginning of uh, our discussion on rural planning planning for rural development or management rural de- management of rural uh, development projects what i am emphasizing is continu- uh, continuously that it is a development of the people and decision should be taken by the people what kind of the path of development they need we just cannot impose anything in the name of development on them that should we also keep in mind you know at every stage from planning beginning from planning itself planning program formulation or implementation from every at every stage we should get people involved we should have people in decision making you know the target group they should form a part in the decision making process actually they should be allowed to say what kind of development they need so that is why the different people's participation no kotha asche ta bhitor gota hoche different factors are there which determine people's participation these things are there in page 26 and amita ko dhire dekhiba extent to which programs are based on felt needs it kotha hoche felt needs and what what is their actual requirement what do they need यदि आमर डेवलपमेंट प्रोग्राम रेस्पोंस टू देयर नीड्स रेस्पोंस टू देयर रिक्वायरमेंट्स सो दे विल वॉलंटरीली कम आउट दे विल पार्टिसिपेट दे नीड समथिंग इन द नेम ऑफ डेवलपमेंट वी ट्राई टू डू समथिंग एल्स सो हाउ कैन वी हैव पॉपुलर पार्टिसिपेशन हाउ द पीपल विल बी मोटिवेटेड टू पार्टिसिपेट देन मोटिवेशन एंड लीडरशिप इज अ फैक्टर देन कम्युनिकेशन there should be proper communication the community worker must communicate with the people in a medium in which they can understand and they should be convinced atanko convince kariya pai hele we should have proper communication skill we should be able to communicate to them in their own language then only there we can have popular participation people can be encouraged in proper participation तेना ये आउ टे आसपा जो फैक्टर्स डिटरमिनिंग पीपुल्स पार्टिसिपेशन भितर व्हाट आर दि फैक्टर्स रेस्पोंसिबल टू एनकरेज पीपुल्स पार्टिसिपेशन एंड व्हाट आर दि फैक्टर्स व्हाट आर दि हिंड्रांसेस व्हेयर डू व्हेयर आर दि प्रॉब्लम्स व्हाई डू वांट पीपुल पार्टिसिपेट व्हाई डू वांट वी हैव व्हाई वी डू वांट हैव पॉपुलर पार्टिसिपेशन व्हाट आर दि प्रॉब्लम तेणु ये फैक्शनालीजम रहा आस गांवे ग्रुपिजम डिफरेन्ट दे आर डिडेड एम डिफरेन्ट फैक्शन तेणु ये सब जिन आसपर धर ब्यूरोक्राटिक कंट्रोल इलिटरेसी पवर्टी सो दिज आर सम अफ दि थिंगस जोटा कि आम पीपुल जो इलिटरेसी इलिटरेसी मेन इलिटरेसी इज रेस्पनसबुल फर योर लैक अफ एवरने बिकज अफ इलिटरेसी दे आर नट एवर तेणु टू Uh, ensure popular participation we have to uh, educate them we have to make them aware sethi pai jo social animator ro kotha asuchi another important question through we can expect jo ta ki role of government in promoting voluntary effort eta चैप्टर what what you are expecting co co topic re discussion apan expect kuruchanti modhu 
এটা কেমতে হবে যদি ক্লাস কো আসা পূর্বর টিকে ব্লক টা দেখি কি আসবে সো আওয়ার কাউন্সেলিং উইল বি ফ্রুটফুল কারণ কাউন্সেলিং ইন এ ওয়ে ইস ডিফারেন্ট ফ্রম ইউর ক্লাসরুম টিচিং দ্য পারপোস অফ কাউন্সেলিং ইজ ডিফারেন্ট ইন ক্লাসরুম হোয়াট হ্যাপেন্স উই অ্যাডপ্ট লেকচার মেথড উই হ্যাভ এ স্পেসিফিক টপিক উইদ ইন এ স্পেসিফিক পিরিয়ড অফ টাইম সাপোজ ফর্টি ফাইভ মিনিটস ক্লাস ভিতরে আই এম সাপোজ টু ডিসকস দিস মাচ অফ থিংস বট কাউন্সেলিং ইজ নট লাইক দ্যাট হ্যাঁ কাউন্সেলিং কু আপনার যেত আসছেন বইটা টিকে দেখি আসবে হ্যাঁ এই এই জিনিস অনেক সো টুডে মোর পড়া ভিতরে এই জিনিস মোর ডাউট রয়েছে তে মোর ডাউট গুড়াক রেজ কলে সো দ্যাট আমি সাপোজ এপার্ট ফ্রম কাউন্সেলর উই হ্যাভ সাপোজ ফিফটিন সিক্সটিন লর্নরস তে উই সেভেন্টিন এইটিন পিপুল উই ক্যান হ্যাভ এ ডিসকশন গ্রুপ ডিসকশন টাইপ অফ থিংস সো দ্যাট আওয়ার ডাউটস উইল বি ক্লারিফাইড তে সেই টাইপ্র যদি কে পড়ি আসছেন আপনার কিছু সপ্লিমেন্ট করা চাইবে বা আজর ডিসকশন কিছু অ্যাড করা চাইবে তে আপনার সজেসনস বা আডিসনস যদি কিছু অনেক বা এনি কোয়ারিজ বা মু যে কহ ডিসকশন বাই ওয়ে অফ মাই ডিসকশন যদি কেউটি কিছু প্রবলেম হচ্ছে ইউ কুড নট গেট মাই পয়েন্ট ইউ ক্যান অলসো রেজ ইউর কোয়ারিজ if nobody no one has to say anything so can i conclude now should i conclude sir so thank you all for joining today we will continue tomorrow